Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I have the biggest Chanel 22P haul for you. There is more. <laughs> some more Chanel. This huge one. I picked up some ready to wear, some handbags. I actually got two handbags, but I will be unboxing just one in this video. I decided to split this video in two parts because I have quite a lot to unbox. So this is part one and stay tuned for the next video where I'll be unboxing the other handbag that I got and some more pieces. Yes, I went a bit crazy with this collection, but I've always been a huge fan of the pre-spring summer collections and spring summer collections because they're so colorful and young and fun. They're definitely my favorite. So yeah, can't wait to show you what I got. I'm sure you will love everything as well. If you're interested, keep watching and also don't forget to come follow me on my Instagram, which is this one here. You can see how I style my new purchases. I show you my daily outfits on my stories as well. So come say hello. I'd love to see you there as well. Okay, let's get started. You know, I was gonna start with the handbag, but I think instead I will start with some jewelry because I'm not wearing any earrings on purpose because I bought a few pairs of earrings from the new collection and they'll really go with today's outfit. So I'm gonna start with some costume jewelry. Oh my God, the costume jewelry in this collection was so cute. I liked so many of the pieces. Okay, here is the first one. It is a larger box, so this might be the exact one that I actually wanted to wear in today's video. Let's see. So the first pair is, yes, these are the ones I wanted to wear today. So we have, so these I mentioned in my preview video when I was reviewing the new collection and showing you what's coming. I told you I really loved the heart earrings and I was actually eyeing a few different styles uh, with like hearts. So these are the champagne gold heart hoops with a large CC logo inside and there is a Chanel writing on there as well. These are so, so light as well, very comfortable to wear. I have already worn them a ton and it's actually very funny because when I bought them, I bought a few different pairs of earrings, but you know, you're not allowed to try them on in the store. So when I went back home and tried them on, I initially didn't like them and I was like, oh, I'll probably end up selling these. I'm not sure if I like how they look on, but that's because I tried them on. You can wear them in two different ways, basically. I would try them on both ways so you can see what I mean. They looked much better when the CC logo and the, the, the writing, basically, the CC writing was facing my face. They framed my face better that way. Let me actually put them on because I'm going to wear it in today's video and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> So can you guys see what I mean? I think this earring is actually supposed to go on this year and this earring is supposed to go on this year. But I don't like how they look that way, so I do it the other way. <laughs> so here they are, what do you guys think? I think they look so much better on this way. Um, so if you have this pair of earrings, definitely try them on the other way around and see how you find them. But I feel that this way the hearts frame the face better, they sit better. So yeah, these are the first pair of earrings. I will also share prices with you. Okay, actually I'm not sure what's the correct price for these because I bought three pairs of earrings and it just says earrings on the receipt. And I'm not sure about the reference, but these are either 510 or 550. So one of the two prices. <laughs> Let's unbox some more earrings, shall we? I bought three pairs of earrings as I mentioned. So this is the next pair. Okay, in here we have another cute pair of heart earrings, but these are a drop style. Look how cute. <laughs> there were so many heart earrings in this collection, I wanted to buy all of them, <laughs> but these are definitely my favorite. They basically have the same shape, like the hoops, and they remind me of the vintage Chanel heart earrings. They're very similar shape and style. And these actually imagined these much bigger when I saw them on pictures before the collection launched. I imagined these much larger. <laughs> but actually when I saw them in person, I really loved the size because they're very wearable. And you can see they have three 
champagne gold hearts they're so so cute very dangly by the way there is also a matching brooch which is a similar size to the hoop earrings it's very cute as well and there is also a matching ring and matching belt so if you want to have the whole collection and be matchy matchy i wanted to let you know um but yeah i picked up these earrings as well and these I'm not sure of the price, again they are either 510 or 550 pounds, I'm not sure if these are more expensive than this because it doesn't say on the receipt which ones are the hoop and which ones are the drop earrings. One more pair of earrings, this is the last one I promise, so this is a tiny little box, I actually always love these tiny square boxes, it's so adorable. And inside another pair of earrings. These are them. <laughs> I know, I couldn't decide which ones I wanted so I got all of them. <laughs> there was also another style which was like a small hoop with a dangly CC the same shape as this one. Uh, but I decided to go for these three. These three were my favourite styles. The hoops, the drop earrings in these. I think I'll probably wear these the most, I have a feeling, and probably the hoops as well. These studs will be great for every day, they don't have any crystals, I know some people are worried about crystals or pearls falling off, so these you don't have to worry about any of that. They're very simple design, perfect for every day, they're not too in your face. Um, because there is a heart and the logo is inside the heart so yeah they're not too flashy or anything i think they're perfect for everyday wear i couldn't wait and <laughs> i was so impatient so i started wearing the earrings asap but yeah these are very very adorable they were also much cheaper let me tell you the price of these okay so they're 355 pounds so cute these will make such a cute gift as well so love those i'm sure everyone's waiting to see the new handbag so let's move on with the handbag and surprise surprise this time i bought a seasonal bag i know who am i <laughs> you guys know i always buy the classic flaps because i love the classic flap it's my favorite bag ever however there, there's been one style that i've been wanting to get for a while that i was missing it's actually in my wishlist video as well i think i mentioned that in my wishlist video which is probably going up after this video so that means i already ticked it off the list it is this cutie when this came i actually didn't see pictures of this online I randomly saw a picture of this bag on Instagram and asked my say if it's coming with the current collection, with the 22p collection, and she replied, yes, it is a wishlist item, do you want me to add it to the wishlist? I was like, of course, it is like the most gorgeous bag ever, exactly what I was looking for. So when it came and when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, I need it. So let me show you. So they gave me one of the classic white dust bags, although it's not a classic flap. Uh, but the bag is a lighter color so are you guys ready oh you can kind of see let me take it out and show you oh my god i actually posted a picture of this bag on my instagram everyone went crazy about this bag i got so many questions here it is i <laughs> I was missing a tweed Chanel bag and the perfect tweed finally came with the 22p collection. I mean, isn't this the most perfect, prettiest tweed you have seen? It is such a beautiful colour. It looks like a Barbie bag. I really love it. And this style is new for Chanel with these dangly CC charms, which are so, so adorable. I also absolutely love, I fell in love with the turn lock can you guys see it's like a pink enamel let me show you up close with the little charms oh my god look how adorable <laughs> so yeah i was saying this is actually a new style that came with 22p collection and they released many of these bags in different colors in leather lambskin leather and i actually showed you in my vlog video i believe i showed you the purple one i also showed you the baby blue one which was probably my favorite one. I also believe it came in yellow. I actually really loved the yellow color as well. I'm not gonna lie, the yellow was beautiful. It was a very soft powdery yellow, very beautiful, very wearable.
wearable as well. But actually I was initially on the wishlist for the blue one and I tried it on and I'm glad I didn't buy it. I'm glad I didn't buy it. I wasn't 100% sure and then this came. I honestly, I didn't even know this was coming because there were no pictures of this bag online. Guys, I'm not sure what's going on with Chanel, but half of the collection, it's not even online. You can't see the full collection online. You can only see selected pieces. So this, I had no idea this was coming. I actually can't find the receipt. There are too many bags and boxes around me right now, but I believe the price was about 3,300 pounds. I love the bright yellow gold hardware on this bag. It, it, it complements the color so well and you know I've always been a huge fan of the aged gold hardware so I love the combo and also what I love about this bag is that the chain, can you guys see you can double chain the bag and wear it as a shoulder bag which you can't do with the mini square and mini rectangular bags but this one I'll try it on so you can see how it looks on me for reference I'm 5'6", 170 centimeters tall and this is the perfect length on me I've always found the classic square minis quite short on me but this one, this sits perfectly. I'm not sure, maybe if you are much shorter, if you are on the petite side, you might find this style a bit long. So let me actually give you a little tour of the bag before I move on. You can see there is a back pocket. Also what I love about this tweed, can you guys see, you can still kind of see the quilting. I love this tweed, it is the perfect tweed. And also what I just spotted, there are two little CC engraved hair on the hardware. I'll insert a close up. This is such a cute little detail. I actually just saw that and I love the attention to detail. So let me give you a quick tour. There is a back pocket, as you can see. Let me open it up. It is very soft bag, it's not very structured, so I'll definitely need an organizer for this one. And inside one small compartment, there is the metal chip here, and there is a tiny little back pocket. So this is the new Tweet Cutie, I would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section down below. My first ever Tweet bag, I definitely have to be a bit more careful with color transfer and try not to pull the Tweet. It's a bit more delicate, but I am obsessed. This will be so perfect for spring and summer. Can't wait to wear it. <laughs> okay, two more items to unbox. This next one was a gift, but I decided to include it in this video because of the color. You, you will see what I mean in a bit. Um, so uh, this was a very lovely gift and this is not part of the new collection. This is actually old season, but I wanted to show you anyway. So, and in here we have, see why I wanted to unbox it in this video, because it is pink. So this is a lovely silk twilly scarf that I got as a gift, and it is the most beautiful baby pink color. This actually is such a good match to my pink classic flap that I got recently. I actually believe they might be from the same collection. This might be from the cruise collection as well, this twilly. I really love the pattern on this twilly scarf, it is so so adorable and this I can tie as a little ribbon on the side of my classic flap, I'll show you what I mean. And it will look so cute in the spring or actually in the summer. Imagine this with a flowy white dress, the pink classic flap and this tied on the side as a bow, it will look so so adorable. Or I can actually wear this as a scarf and it looks so cute as well as a scarf and the last item that i want to unbox in this video i told you there will be part two because i did buy a few more pieces i got another handbag some more accessories and ready to wear um so i decided to split this video in two so stay tuned for part two you don't want to miss that one but yeah i also picked up another ready to wear piece and this is so stunning guys okay let me show you so it comes in this black dust bag. In here we have, oh my god, the color. The color is amazing. Look at this beautiful red tweed jacket with Chanel buttons. It's so cute. It has this cute camellia as well. 
Oh my god, the color is everything, isn't it? Guys, I really love this spring summer ready to wear from Chanel. Always the pre-spring collections have so many beautiful colors, so many fun young pieces. This jacket is so cool. It is so cool. <laughs> it is classic, but at the same time, it is a bit more modern as well. It's quite oversized. It's longer. I also really love the lapels. It has functioning pockets as well. It is such a beautiful piece for a transitional period. It will be great for spring or for the summer evenings when it's a bit chilly. It is a beautiful, beautiful piece. It is lined inside with this beautiful... It's like a red camellia lining and also I will show you an up close of the buttons because they are so cute <laughs> matching red buttons with I think that's silver hardware actually yeah I really really love the fit of the jacket and also love how the sleeves look on they're so nicely tailored the whole tailoring like the whole jacket is so so beautiful I love that it's oversized I got mine in size 38 it is a bit big but it's supposed to look a bit more oversized I did try on I actually tried on size up and a size down and I decided to go for my normal size which is 38 in most Chanel ready to wear. The colour is so vibrant and beautiful, I think it really complements my hair and my skin tone but actually surprisingly guys I don't have a single jacket in red. I had a look at my wardrobe, I don't have anything in red. I have like deep burgundy colours, some sweaters but I don't have any jackets no blazers in red so this is actually my first red <laughs> outwear piece and i love it i love the camellia by the way the camellia is removable it is a brooch and the price of this jacket wasn't bad at all i'm not saying it's cheap but because chanel ready to wear we all know chanel ready to wear is expensive but compared to other tweed jackets this i was shocked when i saw the price i was expecting this to be like over 6k okay because that's how much you know tweed jackets are normally they start from 6k upwards but this one was 4420 pounds which i think for a tweed jacket from chanel with all the classic features the tweed the buttons the camellia which is removable as i mentioned I think it's amazing. I would love to hear what you guys think of this jacket. Oh my god, I'm so excited to wear it. I can't wait for the weather to get warmer because it is currently still freezing in the UK and I can't wear it, but I'm dying to wear this jacket, trust me. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all. I really hope you enjoyed today's unboxing video. Don't forget there will be a part 2, so keep an eye out. I can't wait to show you the rest of the items I got and the other handbag that I think you will love as well. Thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you very very soon in my...